The Johns Hopkins Extra Man offense against Navy starts with an opening action designed to get them into a 3-3 that you see diagrammed here. The first Extra Man opportunity starts in a 1-4-1, and the first movement takes place at the top of your screen, where Kyle Marr is going to down pick for John Crawley. When the ball spins to Shaq's name like at X, he's going to carry to his right, and Holden Katoni will pop off the crease. The movement changes the formation in the 3-3 that I diagrammed before. The second EMO opens with the exact same movement by the Blue Jays' offense. Their third man up starts a little bit differently. It's still a 1-4-1, but now Mars on the other wing, Katoni's at X, and Stanwick is inside on the crease. This time it's Ryan Brown who carries up the wing, John Crawley popping off the crease. On the backside, Kyle Marr cuts to the crease, Katoni moves from X to the wing, and Stanwick slips off the crease through X. Despite the slightly different action, they still end up in the same familiar 3-3 set. The fourth EMO changes things up by starting an open set. Marr and Stanwick begin up top, and will both cut to the crease. This changes their formation to a 2-2-2. They get to the same 3-3 set by having Brown move up top, Crawley go to the wing, and Stanwick slip off the crease to X. Takes a second to develop, but once again we see them get into the same exact 3-3 set. Their fifth man up goes back to the original 1-4-1 look. This time Navy leaves Mar open inside for a feed from Stanwick. The sixth man up is the same opening sequence as the fourth, starting in an open set with Marr and Stanwick cutting inside, Crawley and Katoni behind, and Brown and Frazier up top. After the initial movement to get into a 3-3, Hopkins ran the same wheel play each time. Shaq Stanwick would carry the ball through X, and the other four perimeter players would rotate around the same direction. That gets them into a situation where Stanwick is a threat to score himself, and as their best passer, he has the opportunity to feed any of the five other players. On their first attempt, Shaq Stanwick is going to hit the skip pass through to Patrick Frazier up top. Navy does a good job closing out on him, he's not able to get the shot off in time. However, I think Ryan Brown may have been more open. On the second attempt, Shaq Stanwick is going to feed a skip pass through to up top, but this time to Ryan Brown after a pass fake. He's going to split to his left hand and bury the shot. The fourth time they run this, Shaq Stanwick is once again going to find Ryan Brown up top. But watch, watch this. I think it's a no-look pass, because you can see number 10, the Navy defender, goes the wrong way, away from the pass. The, on the, the fourth time they run this play, uh, he's going to find Holden Katoni on the wing. Navy leaves him open for a shot that he puts right into the Navy goalie. On the fifth time they run this, I think Navy has started to sniff it out a bit, and you'll see a defender close out and really put pressure on Shaq Stanwick on his hands and knock the ball away.